This is Barry with Kenny Motorsports, and I'm going to show you guys how to test uh, your hub motor, your direct drive hub motor, for a uh, possible failure, um, and show you uh, how to use this uh, little e-bike tester device. Um, so this is a tester device. I bought this one from em3ev.com. You can also get them on eBay or AliExpress. Uh, they're pretty universal, pretty common. Um, if you just uh, type uh, search for e-bike tester, um, it'll look something like this. So this particular e-bike tester has a variety of uh, inputs. Uh, input for controller, hull, signal wire, uh, controller, um, main wire, motor, hull signal wire, motor coil, and steer test. Uh, I'm going to be using the motor hull signal set and the motor coil set um, for this test of my hub motor. Um, the, the hall sensors uh, are going to plug into that port um, to the hall sensor uh, connector on my motor. Um, I uh, had to switch out my connector here so that it was compatible with uh, the connector that was on my motor. Um, worst case scenario, you could just uh, clip the wires, strip them, and, and uh, uh, just kind of twist them together uh, to match the colors together. Um, if you don't have the appropriate connector for your motor and uh, and this tester, and then the motor coil, okay, from the from the tester goes to the phases, the three phase wires of the motor. So, and again, just match up the colors: green, yellow, and blue. And uh, we're all plugged in to test our motor. So this here is a direct drive hub motor. Uh, this happens to be a 35 millimeter um, hub motor. So what we do to test is we're going to turn our device on. So our device is on and we can see that we have power and one of the hull sensor lights is plugged in or is, uh, is, is illuminated. Uh, so now to test for the hull sensors, uh, if you just rotate the motor slowly, so I'm just rotating the motor slowly okay you should see those lights turn on in sequence okay one then the other and then they just kind of go uh, blue green yellow in, in a cycle okay and if you turn it the other way they'll go the opposite way uh, turning the wheel the up opposite way okay so that's, that tells me that my hull sensors are functioning properly. Okay, if one of those LEDs does not light up, then you know you have a bad hull sensor. Okay, now to check for the uh, overall, uh, the winding, uh, to see if the windings are good. Here we have to spin the wheel a little bit faster. We're going we're gonna to give it a good flick. And it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but... Uh, when I flick the wheel, the uh, the top three light sets kind of blink rapidly, and then they shut off once the wheel stops spinning. Okay, so again, that just tells me that my motor phases um, are okay; they're not shorted or anything like that. Uh, if the motor phase wires were shorted, uh, and we can simulate that by holding the the wires together, so we're shorting the two phases then the motor becomes much much more difficult to to spin so and then of course when we're done we'll turn the the device off so that is how we test for uh, phase wires and for hull sensors